And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we are here. Naturally, we are here because you hear my voice. Your voice could come from off stage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know. Happy St. Valentine's Day Massacre on our wallets. You know, that is the theme for this week's show because it, it happens to be exactly St. Valentine's Day. And, and let me just get, we just say happy St. Valentine's Day and greetings to my very near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, uh, Miho. Happy Valentine's Day, my dearest Miho. Aside from that, it is in the United States at least, a massacre on our wallets. What were we going to say, sir? The massacre on our wallets is surprisingly, I believe only around 19 billion dollars. That's not a lot when you think about it. It's just for Valentine's It's just Day. another way that um, the, the big American, the big sleazy, greedy, uh, sneaky American retail industry just, you know, capitalizes on uh, another ridiculous non-holiday, really, uh, just like the other pagan holidays of Ishtar, which is coming up next, Easter and uh, pagan Christmas, just another way to, to get you to part with your money. Uh, you know, you have, um, well, let, let me get the formalities over with before we start. Welcome to Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth. I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, uh, the hardest-hitting internet uh, talk radio station on the planet. And I am here with my illustrious co-host and mentor and founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? You all right? Good. Sounds that sounds good. Sounds like feeding time at the zoo, but it sounds good. But uh, we are here from the, the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeast New Jersey. Now, at the uh, the theme at hand, uh, you know, I walked into the local store, the local dollar store. It's a Dollar Tree. So you know, it's a it's a, it's a big chain up and down the East Coast. And uh, my mother wanted. Um, a Valentine's Day card for my sister. I says, Ma, Valentine's Day, the, the, the phony baloney pagan Valentine's Day, is supposed to be for lovers, uh, not for relatives. Lo and behold, there were Valentine's Day cards for sale for everything. Yeah. You want to give your goldfish a Valentine's Day card, your sisters, uh, brothers, uh, daughters, sons, this one, that one. Hey, what is this? <laughs> so anyway, they, they don't want to miss anybody. They don't want to miss anybody because they might miss out on profit. Couple of bucks. Baby. So uh, I got it a car. She, of course, she gave me the money because I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> got it a car. It was a nice car. It had a nice saying on it. But overall, the price of you know all the big shots that have to go to a drugstore and get the Hallmark card and pay over five bucks for it, depending on how fancy you want to get. The rip-off scam of, of buying a dozen long stem roses from the florist. There's another which hundred. Which lasts two days. Which lasts a couple days. <clears throat> okay, uh, the budded red roses with the baby's breath. Good. Oh boy. Anyway, over a hundred bucks. And, you know, of course, big shots that like to brag about how much they paid for everything, they would they would go to the most expensive place, have it sent, uh, you know, floors, yeah. delivered. Uh, uh, what is that company? FTD. FTD. Where they have Mercury, the you know the guy That's with the, the Mercury, yeah, with the helmet with the wings on it, you know, and 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 the wings on his ankles or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Um, 
I digress. So yeah, so all uh, they got you from every, all directions. The, the candy companies, ah. forget it. You know, sugar laden um, flowers, candy, candy. That's the you know, who, regardless who makes the chocolates, they rip you off. It's loaded with sugar. It's not. It's not the antioxidant-rich no, 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 dark cocoa no, no, that no, 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 no. sugar-free dark cocoa that me and uh, Doctor Bill no. here uh, consume. No, it's the sugar-laden stuff. So anyway, between the the candy that's in the fancy heart-shaped box with the with the with the shiny uh, 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 polyester or nylon material, the sparkles, the this, that, and the other thing. You know, uh, high and, price on the ribbon. And the ribbon, there you go. Can't, can't forget yeah. the ribbon. Don't forget the, the ribbon. The crushed velvet ribbon. <laughs> uh, this, so they got you from all ways. The card, the chocolates. Then, if you f poor suckers happen to decide to uh, take your significant other out to ah. eat. Here's, here's the thing. Out to eat on Valentine's Day Massacre Day. You go... The restaurants are all jam-packed. There's a long waiting list to get a table. Uh, I went through this once in my life, never again. You're sitting in the um, in the hallway with other couples uh, that everyone looks like they're starving in there, and they're waiting over an hour sometimes, and waiting and waiting and waiting, and everybody's real hungry. And what do they have to listen to? All that sappy music. Elevator music. Elevator, violin music, all, all the you know the music for lovers, you know with the harps going bling bling bling, and and the violins and and you're starving and you're saying come on, seat us please, and finally, after waiting so long, you finally get seated. You're absolutely starving, and what do you get? You don't get the regular menu. Oh mm -hmm. no, you get the special holiday Valentine's Day menu, which has jacked up prices much higher than the regular no, menu. No, come on. Yes, yes. So, you know, meanwhile, the, the most uh, applicable authentic Valentine's Day dinner is if you uh, cooked a broiled beef heart at home with uh, marinating it, of course. Uh, come on, uh, Dr. Bill, have a heart. I never ate heart. I'm going to show heart to mind. heart. Was was that the yes, I Robert like that show. Robert Wagner, Wagner and Stephanie and Stephanie Powers? Powers. Yeah. Hey, that was a very she loving. Was, uh, you know, she's very vivacious. That was a loving couple. That was a good show. They're always always embracing. Yeah, it was cute. It was cute. But anyway, so they got you bent over with no lubrication, man. They got Ooh. you bent over in all ways, and you know, I mean, they do the same thing with Mother's Day. You know, they use psychology, they use the big guilt trip to sucker you into parting with your money because if you don't do it, you know, it's an American tradition, if you don't do it, then, you know, the, Screw it. the girl gets, the girlfriend or wife gets angry with you and you feel guilty, therefore you spend it. You spend, and that's exactly what the sleazy, greedy American retail industry wants you to do. They want you to feel guilty. The same thing goes for Pagan Christmas. Same deal. The big guilt trip. What about the chocolate bunnies on Easter? Hey, there you go again. Again with the candy companies. So what I'm trying to say is if you don't need a stupid retail conjured up a fake Pagan holiday to show your love for your significant other. You should be appreciating one another every day you don't need one or two days out of the year to show your love and appreciation. It should be done constantly and you do not need to be a sucker and to uh, to spend uh, all that money that you don't have to spend. I saw a guy... That's uh, it. That's all I have to say uh, about that. Uh, on the news the other day and he... Uh, I'm not sure of the years but they've been married a long time and he has every single day written her something that she reads in the morning. That's, a, that's a bit much. I think they, they may have been married 40, 50, 60 uh, years and it's every day. This guy this something. guy obviously has a lot of time on his hands to be able to do that, right? Well, hey, what else are you going to do during the day? Uh, watch uh, Judge Judy? 
Judge Judy. Judge Judy's let me tell you, she's a lot better than uh, Jerry Springer and and Bill Cunningham and and Steve Wilkos and all those all those trash shows, you know, where they have all these low class people on fighting and and screaming at the same time. You can't even hear what their problem is. Getting their fifteen minutes of fame. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe they egg them on. Maybe they. That's what they do. Maybe they talk to the audience before the show and they say, "Look, lay it on thick. We want you to. We want you to fight a little bit. Yeah. Slap each other a little bit. Whoa. You know, for ratings. You know. Yeah. Okay. Let let me before I mention something, which is why you you're watching the show because I'm I mention things. Good. I want. Let's get Chisler's Hall of Shame out of the way. All right. First Chisler's Hall of Shame, shame on you, shame on you American made products, shame on you uh, Martha Stewart uh, uh, brand of products sold at Kmart, most, ah. li most likely made in China. This clock is not that old. I went to change the battery. Of course it's a Martha Stewart clock cause from Kmart. I needed the second hand for my workout. I go to put the uh, fresh battery in, and what do I notice? It doesn't work. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Like a baby rattle, right? Broke. How'd it broke? I don't know. The you component, the you components. Throw it on, you, you throw it on the floor? No. The components are loose. It's a piece of shit. It's American made. It's crap. So, you know, this is one of many many reasons why I refrain from buying American made products uh, this goes down in this trash can or not really put it anywhere you want if it's no good oh you, you put is this with the with the the commingle uh, take this eh, whatever yeah all right just throw it yeah you don't want me to do that <laughs> you know I mean I mean in the garbage Oh, and the garbage. Yeah, just throw it. Toss it, you mean? That's it. I don't have enough room in, uh, to to throw it. I will. I'll drop it. Actually. Drop it. There you go. Drop it. Right. Now, here's the uh, the best of all. Oh boy. Into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. This is terrible. Another American-made prod dick. Oh jeez. Prod dick. You know. It's probably not made in America, though. No, but isn't it made to to the specifications of the company? Yeah, whatever. But it's made somewhere else. Probably. Mr. Coffee, electric drip coffee maker. You all know it well. Didn't Joe DiMaggio used to advertise for Mr. Coffee? I think so. It's an old company. Guess what? We didn't have it that long. Guess 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 what again? All of a sudden, when I put the water in the the back, oh look, there's a brand new coffee filter in there. How did I get there? Don't look brand new to me. No, it's new. I gotta take it home. Oh my God. Uh, excuse me. When I pour the water in the back, which is what you do to fill it up, half of the water leaks all over the kitchen counter. I I thought maybe, you know. Well, how does the water get into the thing where you just put the thing there? It yeah. comes out of that. Oh, it's it bigger. comes out of here. Okay. You move it. You move. You move this. Right, you put it. the coffee in the basket. You put it back this way. You close it. Yeah, I got it. I tried. I tried to troubleshoot it. Doesn't do any good. Hold on. Happens every time. I put. Let's say I put ten cups of filtered water in the back. At least 50% of it leaks all over the counter, so the apparatus, you know, whatever you call this, the compartment for the water, it just leaks all over the place. Piece of shit. Um, now we we have, uh, remember the incredible melting toaster? Yeah. That was a sunbeam. Uh, uh, so far we, we have Black & Decker, we're trying Black & Decker out. The uh, coffee maker and the uh, toaster. So far, much better quality, no problems. So far, at least the tea kettle is survivable. Uh, well, you can't put this on a stove. Why not? 
then you got to glass. It should be made of Pyrex or something. You got to keep it on, and you got to keep it on very low. It's only made for the heat of the uh, the, the element that's on the bottom. What about this. the heat of the coffee itself? Oh, I have no problems with coffee. No, uh, no, 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 the glass. I mean, what do you call it? The pitcher. Yeah, the the, the kettle. Yeah, I Mon forgot, Park I, kettle. Man. Knock on black thorn wood. So far, the Black & Deckers are fine. But, shame on you, shame on you, American-made, uh, assembled probably in China, but I'm sure the components are all, you know, the specifications are all coming from the company. Shame on you, Mr. Coffee, you suck. Another American-made product bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. And another one goes, and another one goes, another one bites the dust. You know, I, uh, I'm quite leery of anything that involves heat. Don't buy it. And plastic. Well, you know, you know, plastic, well now plastic is, well, this is cheap plastic, but now, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. now you have, oh, speaking of cheap, A&P bags, it's, it's like bubble gum. Hey. Look at this. They, what the hell? They charge enough, don't they, for, for the broke. groceries? They can't get a good, decent bag. You just brought that over the, in there. The great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company, you greedy bastards. Shame on you also. Shame on all American companies. Oh my well, I was going to toss it, but it ain't going to be in the bag. Oh my God. However you shake it. Don't, I won't buy American. You know, you got a lot of flag wavers on the internet, like on Facebook saying, hey, guy, you, you want to bring jobs back, you got to buy American. Oh, really? Not if they're, not if the assembly of the, uh, and the, the assembly of the products are in third world countries and including the office, the office, the hired office people are in the Philippines. How is that going to bring jobs how is that going to reverse outsourcing if you buy american made products to these flag waves because you got the the, the the laborers are here doing oh. the work they're getting paid in america oh are they? american are they really uh if maybe, they manufacture maybe in the america, car maybe the car industry you know what i'm saying you got it it, it, it can't be assembled in China. It's got to be made in America. Yeah, for the car industry, if you buy a Chevy or, or a Buick, if they're still around, you, they're made here, of course. Well, not really, because the they, components components are imported. Hey, I heard Ford's, uh, I don't know if they still do. <laughs> I think the engine comes from China. No, 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 no. Ford's, yeah. Ford's were using Yamaha there you go. engines. Uh, See? Chrysler was using uh, Mitsubishi engines. I don't know if they still do. And uh, we're using Japanese airbags. It goes on and on. It goes on and on. You know, it's like, um, I think Walmart, but, but I don't give any credibility to, not Walmart, uh, Whole Foods. I don't give any credibility to either of the two. Mr. But, Mackey. But Mr. Sellout. Is it John Mackey? With, with his tainted uh, uh, Chinese, uh, mainland China, of uh, grown foods. Mm -hmm. He had an advertisement up. It was like a, you know, patriotic flag waving by American kind of a, mm -hmm. a, a, a display case. And meanwhile, the products were <laughs> were were uh, uh, grown in China. It was it came it was coming from mainland China. He's a big douchebag, just like Mr. Papa Chan. Oh, that son of a bitch. Yeah. I'm glad you brought him up. Thank you. I, I, I always forget to write his uh, write his name down, but I think it's John... Is it Schachter or Shit? Sh I have no idea. I but call he, him Papa Chan. He's not Italian. Okay. He, he can afford to give out two million free pizzas during uh, the Super Bowl, yeah. but he can't afford adequate health care for his employees. And now, what, did he steal $800,000 worth of uh, pilfering the, the employees? Uh, and that money? wasn't, and, and, and not provide, refusing to provide health care is not only the only thing he did. He stole, pilfered, pilferage, he stole, uh, 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 
uh, pay from his employees. Nice guy. Yeah. He's, I guess he calls himself a good Christian. Oh, sure. He stole the <coughs> payroll from uh, employees that do, do not make much as it is. Well, that's the best to steal from, ain't it? That's what Reagan did. To steal from, from the have-nots? Broaden the base of the taxpayers and uh, the, the rich get their cut. Yeah, to, to put, you know. to make the middle class pay and the poor. all the taxes. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, remember when Mario Battaglia got caught stealing yes, tips, yes, 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 tips yes. from his wine servers? Yep. These rich and famous people just don't have enough. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, the, um, yeah, 30 years ago, Ronald Reagan uh, took the taxes off the rich. Now, and uh, I think Jesse Ventura was saying uh, in one of his shows, recent shows, and I think it was, uh, might have been 2010, well, what year was it? Uh, General Electric made like $14 billion. Or was yeah, they paid taxes and, they, and got a subsidy back. And, and, and they paid zero federal income taxes. Right. And they got 200 and some uh, million 14 back. million or 14 billion? Billion. Huh? Billion, probably. 14 billion and paid zero .4. in that, federal income taxes. It doesn't matter the number. It just matters that they don't pay their taxes. No, they paid zero. That's okay. the number you got to remember. Yeah, zero. Exactly. Exactly. In taxes. Meanwhile, the average uh, middle class working stiff in America paid a hell of a lot more taxes than General Electric. That's correct. GE is also responsible for dumping PCBs into the Hudson River. That's correct. By the way. And 60% uh, of corporations do not pay their taxes. That's okay. true. 60%. Now, now, of course, uh, <clears throat> you got many of these idiot uh, suckers that believe what they hear on Fox News, waving the American flag, you know, saying that, um, you know, you can't tax the rich, it's a job killer, blah, 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 and all this bullshit. And, uh, um, oh, one guy says on Facebook that um, companies are outsourcing because there, there are too many government regulations in the United States on Same old, company. same old argument been going on for 40 years. Too many regulations? Yes. There's there's not nearly enough regulations today. Some idiot on, one of the, on, on the group uh, yesterday put down that it was the government's fault for the melt, financial meltdown in 2007-2008. I couldn't believe this guy when he said that. Too, many, regu too many regulations? They're they're already they're already uh, uh, allowed to do anything they want. Anything they damn want, yeah. because they were deregulated by the uh, between uh, Reagan and the um, uh, Republican Congress. And Carter. Oh, oh, Carter deregulated them. That's correct. Carter deregulated something like six industries. So Once Carter. So there. Carter was a corporate to sell out Democrat. We don't know why. Why did he what do it? He was. But it started there, you know, doing, uh, doing his, it was part of his uh, 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 administration. Airlines, trucking, uh, yeah. and, and several more. Now, um, I had to disagree on, um, on Jesse Ventura, uh, uh, what he said about, well, he, he seems to be very anti-big government. He says that uh, he doesn't. He's not in favor of uh, Obama's uh, plan to provide two years of free college to uh, all Americans. He believes that anything after high school, people should pay out of pocket for. You're on your own, which sounds kind of libertarian to me, which he happens to be. But he's more to the left. He's he's more of a left wing libertarian. But libertarians are generally right wing. So he's anti-big government, he's, he's against the government providing the airport security. He believes that the airlines should, should provide their own security. Now if, you're, if, you're, if you think that the private sector 
is going to spend adequate money on security at the airport. Don't hold your breath for the private sector to do the right thing. Well, don't hold your breath on it. The point is with the college, it was free or almost free in the old days and should be today. I don't care who's, you know, not paying for it. Listen, Northern... You're talking about big government. Yeah. What they're really talking about is the Pentagon. The military, bloated military, military budget, yeah. Which is, which is 69% of our budget today, when you right. add it all up. And social services is a tiny fraction of our budget. That's correct. Tiny fraction. Tiny fraction. And social security is bought and paid for. It doesn't belong... It has no, nothing to no, do with anything. No, no, uh, no Koch brothers or politician has the right to cut but social Mr. security. But Mr. Boehner and his... Uh, Heard are going to manufacture a crisis to be able to cut or change Social Security. They, uh, the Republicans, They're along, coming up with it, baby. The Republicans, the Republicans, along with the Koch brothers, have this obsession to take everything away from the poor in America because they don't deserve it. Do you? Nah. Aside from that bumbo jumbo. They don't deserve it. Aside from that mumbo jumbo, do you think it's quite possible that their motive is to depopulate the mainstream masses? To I kill, would, if to they kill could, off the poor? If they could get away with it, they would. It sounds like a depopulation plan to me. Uh, but it's not in effect yet. It's not Nazified yet. You want to take away you know, you think Medicaid. You want to take away Medicare. Yeah. You want to take away Social Security. You want to take away food stamps. It's you want to take away welfare. It sounds like a, a genocide it's of the poor to be. It's got to be done incrementally. It cannot be done one, two, three. Nazism did not occur overnight. There will be pushback. If it's an overnight phenomenon, you to, have to do away with the pushback. They, they, they're doing it uh, Nazi Germany style, slowly, incrementally, incrementally, a little at a time. It's the old uh, frog in the hot water. I like to say hi to the wonderful sunshine state of Florida, and I use that term sarcastically. Yeah. It's against the law to be homeless. It's against the law to live in a tent. It's homeless. And now it's against the law to live off the grid in the sunshine state of Florida. And I just want to say hello to that demonic looking uh, governor with the head that looks like a Q-tip, uh, Governor uh, Scott. Rick Scott. Rick Scott, Q-tip head. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a red state, what can I say? And I'm sure all the Florida crackers in the North made sure Rick Scott got reelected. And also all the uh, belly aching Cubans in Miami that have an obsession against the Castro re regime, they probably voted for Rick Scott. Yeah, well, did you hear about Scott Walker? Is he in hot water like Chris Christie? Well, I don't know if it'll be in hot water because he's been in hot water and it seemed. It seems to not have any effect on him. He's Teflon like Reagan. No, his hot water is a uh, is a, a bearable uh, a jacuzzi. Not it's hot, but not that hot. Well, it's not. Is, he's not a boiled lobster. Let's put it that I way. I believe it was Marquette University. He doesn't really have the bachelor degree that he says he did. Oh, excuse me. That's Rand Paul. Rand Paul. He doesn't have the bachelor. Uh, yeah, but uh, Scott Walker also got caught cheating or something <laughs> at Marquette, yeah. Doesn't it go hand in hand with, with conservative Republicans? Yeah, they're all a bunch of liars. Cheaters, liars, yes. corrupt. That's how they get ahead. Bribe takers. Yeah. Now, um, there was an article, of course, about the Koch brothers wanting to get rid of uh, Medicaid and all that stuff. What the hell business is it of theirs? The, they're multi-billionaires. They have the best health care money could buy. Why do they want to... to because it's not a matter of... Why do of, they want to torture and make the poor suffer in America? It's not a matter of that. It's a bigger... It's a matter of making people going to come to them for their jobs and they'll say, yeah, I'll give you a dollar fifty an hour. 
Fuck them. That's what it's about. People want to be compensated for their services. They, but they won't the, the, be. Those cocksuckers expect people to roll out of bed in the morning and work a long day at a dollar an hour. Wait, if you're the only job in town. What, what about the uh, uh, what about the um, the high cost of living that gets higher and higher? Uh, you're talking in ideals. Where do you live? Where do you live in a, in a tree house? In a dog you're house? Talking in ideals. You're Can't, talking about why? Why do they care about that? You live in a tent. The cops destroy the tent. Yeah. You you live in the but woods why, in the tent. They evict you like Lakewood, New Jersey. They evict you from the evict why you from the, the woods. Why do the Koch brothers care about whether you know you have enough to eat? You know, there's going to be a lot of disgruntled people working for the Koch brothers for a dollar an hour. Are you kidding me? They may be disgruntled, but they're going to be quiet. They ain't going to rock the boaty. You think so? Yes. What do you mean you think so? No, it's, you're it's, you're wrong because it ain't in, wrong. No, it happens no, all no, the time. Nobody could stop the entire colony of soldier ants. Remember that. In masses, there is extreme they power. They have instinct to work that way. You know, the I, human being does I, not. I worked when I was a kid. I worked for a, a supermarket uh, in the deli and fish department and, and shop. Right. It was and and we had a real scumbag. Uh, 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 general store manager. Did you know that son of a bitch? I was so happy. He got all four tires slashed several times because he was he was he was hated. Well, you know what? The same I'll shit's going to happen to the CEOs that you're like uh, pumping up for some reason. It's not pumping. You always make you're this pumping wrong. Up the jam. You always make this wrong interpretation. I'm telling you Hatred does how amazing the world things. works. Hatred does amazing things, Dr. Bill. Who's hatred? The, the, when the little guy hates the fat cats. One little guy? Oh, no. Oh, well, where are you going to get all these millions of little guys? You think there's... You can't even get a protest out there. You think there's a lot of... Uh, um, doesn't matter. It doesn't think, happen. You, well, then Americans have lost their backbone completely. The Egyptians were out in Tati Square or Square or whatever it was, and the, threw the uh, M M Mubarak out and etc. And now what do they got? You 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 a under general. You underestimate the power of, of a well-trained militia with automatic weapons and and that are ready to take their country back. You underestimate them. You know who they are? Who? Right-wing conservatives not left-wing Democrats. Well, that's not good. Well, then why are you preaching it? Because it's got to be preached. That's not how it happens. So what are you going to do? You're going to be a victim and wait for the second coming of Christ? We don't know what we're going to do. And don't even speak in we're, because that ain't going to happen in America. We're does not happen in America. Even in the, go back to the goddamn Great Depression. They stood in bread lines instead of attacking uh, Washington and taking it over and becoming communist or becoming socialist or whatever. They stood in bread lines well, for free food. Well, speaking of that, I want to, uh, speaking of what you just said, I want to uh, tip my top hat. But I'm not wearing one, but I'll salute you with the shillelagh, uh, the country of Greece, for... Uh, uh, like Iceland for cleaning up their act and 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 doing the right thing even though some Americans are calling uh, the Greek government a bunch of socialists and pinkos and blah 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 there yeah, I want to congratulate the country of Greece for accomplishing what the United States needs they to accomplish accomplished it yet not yet and they will not because the other countries including America <laughs> will see that they don't Oh really? You think uh, the masses of the Greek people are gonna like uh, How many are, are, people? Go, are going to stand for this? How many people are in Greece? Nine million or something? What are you talking about? You think uh, for one minute that uh, hey, Iceland is less than that? Did you hear that Vladimir Putin might have some uh, satellite uh, proof that the United States? Let's see it. Was involved with 9/11? Don't yak about it. Let's see it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let me just read this because we do the same fucking shit every week. You know, I mean, you have, there are, just like libertarians, you have different libertarians. Don't party people. You have different. The lib labels don't work. All right, what do I say? Uh, conservative versus progressive. How's that? 
What about progressives coming in different forms? There you go. Progressives, some progressives are, are moderate. Forms. Are moderate, some progressives, not many, are more militant than others. Some progressives are more passive than others. Some progressives are so passive, they're ultra-liberal flower children from the goddamn 60s. So there they are, can't be labeled. There are different forms. They can't be labeled. A passive is like the uh, Star Trek episode when Kirk, the nice Kirk, didn't do shit. He was inactive. He was an inactive Kirk. He, he took no action. Because he needed the aggression. Right. The dark side. You got it, brother. Okay. All right. Let me just get this. But that's in. what I'm saying. Don't label. Don't libertarian concern. You know, uh, you can use concern. Well, then, well, then how do you peg somebody for you what can. they what they really are? How do you, you peg them? How do you peg them? You can't. You can't do it. Not unless they tell you what they are. Then okay. you can put them in a box. All right. But before that, you can't just generalize yeah. and put things in a box. All right. So. Uh, so let's see now, Bill Gates, the Koch brothers, uh, uh, John Brabeck of Nestle's, all these guys, no matter how many hundreds of thousands of people hate their guts, all these guys are going to end up winning at the end. Okay. That's They're not my opinion. Now. That's not my opinion, people. That's They're not. winning now. What They're, are you talking about at the end? That, uh, well, when they piss off uh, hundreds of thousands of Americans. And then what? And then Americans who uh, will uh, boycott go on strike, refuse to work for the, for petty wages, and maybe uh, uh, join a militia. Why don't you put that in your group? Join a militia? And see what happens. You mean about people joining a militia? No, not not join. Say things like, uh, this is what has to be done. This is what has to be done? Yeah. I say shit all and the time in the group. No, no, not just saying. I'm talking about, this is what has to be done. If we want to save the world or the country or whatever, we got to clean out the barn. I always say you that. Know? No, 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 no. You can't clean out the barn. We don't have the brooms. I just told you. You, you what honestly I could think done. Americans are going to roll out of bed and work for a dollar an hour? And it, uh, uh, for you actually think that? They stood in bread lines. Ah, bread lines. There were, bunch of, there were a bunch of there were a bunch of decrepit, feeble little wimps that, during the Great Depression. They were they 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 were average Joe six packs. They weren't people that are ready to well, to, to get they? in shape and join a militia. Well, who the hell are you thinking? Now you want to join one? You should have already been in one. What are you talking about? I mean, make uh, make one. You're talking about idealism here. All right. How does the Koch brothers? The other side. How does the goddamn Koch brothers? Stop win? that crap! How do they win? You tell me how they win. How do they win? They're already winning. Because you, 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 you all the, uh, the, the, the pigeon livered, uh, uh, ultra liberal, uh, 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 progressives are allowing them to win. They're letting them win. Well, then accept that. Why? Because they're winning. Because they're pussies. Ultra liberals are pussies. That explains nothing. Don't you understand? That explains they're nothing. Vi they're 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 victimizing. They they're accepting defeat and they're accepting the fact that they're victims. And what are you going to do about it? You know what? What, you what am I going to do about yeah, it? Yeah, you. What are you. What are you, a wise guy or something? I said, what are you going to do about it? Uh, express opinions. There, bingo. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't run a there. I don't run a militia. And that's all you can do. Goddamn ultra liberal hippies from the '60s. They don't want to do anything. They want to sing kumbaya. They want bipartisanship. They want compromise. Give me a break. Let me say this real quick. Uh, this, this is in regards to a a, me a member, a new member of of our group. Uncensored, hard-hitting truth. Um, Mr. Um, Mr. J uh, Jeffrey M. Young. Okay. I want to start by telling the story. It's not. A, it's a small story. A uh, Dr. Lee Watts, the Kentucky State Capitol Chaplain, who is supporting the corrupt, dirty campaigner 
in Kentucky, uh, Jack Conway, refuses to give the microphone publicly to an event to Democrat uh, Jeffrey M. Young uh, because uh, Jeffrey M. Young has a, uh, a different opinion as to Christianity uh, at the Capitol, which is the name of this event, I think. First of all, um, right-wing fundamentalist Dr. Uh, Lee Watts of Kentucky State Capitol Chaplain. First of all, there should be no Christians at any capital. There should be no religious leaders or religion at any capital because religion, uh, uh, the mixing of religion with politics is unconstitutional and uh, it should never take place because no one has been able to prove that their God exists. Therefore, not one penny of tax dollars should go towards any religion. And uh, you people are zealot religious nuts. You do not know the God of the Bible. You do not know what is in the Bible. Therefore, uh, and you're, and you're uh, applying censorship to the Democrat, Jeffrey M. Young, who feels that he needs to tell it like it is in front of that microphone. But Dr. Lee Watts won't allow him to take the microphone. Did he get to do that? Uh, he's he is banned. He was kicked. He was removed from the plan of the so event. So he who was, was more powerful. He was the uh, the right wing pricks of of Kentucky uh, supporting a Jack Conway. Uh, but Mr. Have Conway was more powerful there because he owned the microphone. So he decided not to allow that's correct. Democrat Jeffrey M. Young to and speak that's at the, the event. same thing and same meme that the Koch brothers had, Bill Gates, what a, whatever the oligarchs and plutocrats are and do. Right. That's the same thing. They have the power and you do not. And you better learn to accept the You're fact. talking about uh, not in the manner you're talking of you about do anything. selfish. Uh, 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 per you're talking about maybe sociopathic personalities, very greedy. Calling them names is not going to change. Selfish, uh, Iron Ran following people who, not for not for logical reasons, for doing what they do, but for very selfish reasons doing Call what they politics. do. In, a, in the unfair society, uh, human society, and and uh, and this goes back to what I always said: there's reasons why I'm not a people person. Doctor Bill says he's a people person. I have good reasons for not being a people person because of the inherent wickedness and corruption of humans. So what is that? Are you labeling them, calling them names? Don't See what I mean? Anything. You don't want to label anybody. You don't want to call names when it's due, when it's appropriate. Oh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be pegged as a, as, a, as hateful and negative. Oh, I don't want to be pegged as a, what as is a that? bigot. You have to call them names if it applies to them. You have to nail oh. the guilty to the cross. What do you want to do? You, 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 you want to be like Nancy Pelosi? Oh, we go or. or uh, What's his name? Uh, Barack Obama. Everything is bipartisanship, negotiation. Nobody calls out the Republican Congress what to, as to what they really are. Because they, that doesn't change anything. What changes things? Negotiation, being nice? No. What, what Showing, putting it out there. But, but you, you don't, don't have to be personal about it. Well, they're personal about about the about the left. Then then you can get personal with them, but that ain't going to accomplish but they're your always, goal. But compromise with the enemy is not going to accomplish your goals either. Nobody says compromise. Where do you come up with these ideas? Well, what is this? What is this? Uh, you're telling me like some people tell. Oh, you you can't label anybody. You can't. Put no. them in the box. You can't call no. them names. Why not? But you can say what they do. Yes. Then you can get personal if you have a person that is doing that. Listen, a, a, a right-wing conservative corporatist is not entitled to any respect until they earn respect. 
Therefore, if you're not entitled to any respect, you should be, you are, should expect to be labeled. You can't know what he is until he tells you. Of course. Or shows you. Well, it is, well then it's obvious. The but people, then you just called him that before you understood that. Because I know don't where he's coming from. What I'm saying? I know. No, you don't. Of course I know, because I had a conversation with the uh, with that with Jeffrey person. with Jeffrey. I chatted with Jeffrey about this. The, well, the we're Dr. Not Lee Watts. Are you not Dr. Lee Watts? All no. right. What about what about the Republican Congress? They're not wicked. Yes, they are, and they are do nothing. Right. So me me. But me, that isn't that you haven't singled out each one. To why he has done that or is doing that? Well, it's not as as simple. They're not all doing it for the same reason. It's not as simple as just having a lack of oxy uh, oxytocin, whatever. It's not just. It's not that it's simple. It's a way of pointing up the problem. Listen, it 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 shows compassion towards them, and they have no compassion towards anybody else. So why why First show all, compassion? You, you are putting yourself in the same position as they are. You saying the you want to kill them? They want to kill you're you. You're saying the same thing about let's say and you want to change the let's world. say uh, young criminals in bad neighborhoods. Oh, we need to feel sorry for them. We they need treatment. They need rehabilitation. They need to see shrink. But but as as far as what about the criminals from good? If they're too far gone, how do you know that? How do you know that? Yeah. Oh. How you, do you, you know think, when a person is too far gone? So, as you're trying to figure them out, and they still commit, they're still hurting innocent people, okay, you, instead of removing them from society and realizing once their personality is set and they're older, you can't change them. Well, then you better go and, uh, and, 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 and research a little more you think on people who change. You think, pedof you think pedophiles deserve to have some rights after they go molest young children over and over and over and over? No, we're not talking about pedophiles. You're talking about showing compassion for wicked people. We're not choosing. We're, we're talking about judging, not compassion. It is not our place to judge. Well, they want to bump off the poor. Again, bumping them off does not solve the problem. So, so let them make. We've more been doing that for thousands of years. So let them cut, take all the food stamps away from the poor and the veterans. Let them tear up the tents so the homeless have really no place to, to go except the privatized prisons. No. Let the let the poor continue to be victimized in America. That's no. what you're saying. No, I'm not. You. Uh, then what you, is the answer? The answer is pushback. That's what I just Proper. said. Proper. Push back. Proper pushback? Not evolution. Well, how do you properly push back in a nice, civilized uh, way? There how do the you do it? You, the you got you got the second coming of Jesus to, to back you up? You got Jesus behind you to back Gandhi you up? Gandhi did it. I don't see it yet. And, uh, MLK did it in their way. They didn't have... We all have they to didn't, find the way. They just didn't have enough people behind them doesn't matter. They got done what they s set to do. Gandhi kicked the goddamn British out of India. MLK got the civil rights laws. Yes, uh, but M okay. MLK and... Mal they didn't get their perfect world, MLK course. and uh, Malcolm X, okay... We're not talking about Malcolm X because Malcolm X was not as uh, 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 powerful or... or Right. Uh, influential as MLK. Well, um, what hurts all these people, progressive leaders, is that they don't get FaceTime by the mainstream media. Just like Elizabeth Warren doesn't get FaceTime, Bernie Bingo. Sanders doesn't get FaceTime. Bingo. And this is... So there's something to work on, isn't it? This, li this lies this, the problem. Uh, I think uh, for the average American... Kill any other militia. Boycotting is a, is a powerful tool. It's Which a, is never used. It's a start. But because Americans don't know how to stick together and work as a team. They don't. You know, Sa do Sa Sash Boyle posted a fascinating banner Ugh. on Holistic Health Talk showing what big corporations own many of the products 
you buy that yes. you that you think are great, owned by a certain company great or owned help, by like company. Tom's of Maine is owned by a big corporation. And so now has fluoride in their toothpaste. Burt's Bees, another health food product, is owned yeah. by a big corporation. So knowing what products never to buy, and because they're owned by big corporations, is a great way to boycott and a, and a powerful tool. Yeah. I don't watch. And I'm going to see what tens of millions of people do that because there 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 lies the problem. Thank you. So work on that. Uh, just like I, I don't watch mainstream media at all. If enough people, somebody does. If enough people thought, same thing with Entertainment Tonight and TMZ, with the Hollywood gossip and the rumors. There are people who have, who have no life that watch those programs and are, they're obsessed with it. You know, they care about what Kim Kardashian and Conway, the, Kanye does. They care about what Miley Cyrus does. As long as there's people who care about the wrong things, not much is going to change. But as far, Bingo! but as far as being militant and shaking hey! and shaking that ultra liberal, There's my argument, flower child from the '60s attitude and being passive, I'm all for shaking that, and I'm all for a more of a militant attitude to fight. You know, you know the the, the Irish, the leprechaun, the fighting Irish logo. This is the way America's got to be, be, like this. America's fighting all the time. We're paying for, for these wars on the credit yeah. card. Uh, I, we're fighting all the time. Example, what are you talking about? The Occupy movement, they're a bunch of pussies. Because they, they did not, they were not, not screwed. They did not have solid leadership they to guide them. Screwed. They didn't want leadership. They just, they, you know what they did? They they hung out Stop on Wall blaming them. They hung they out like they, they hung out on like Woodstock, like a bunch of flower children at Woodstock. They hung out and they camped out, and they were all peace, love, and rock oh, and roll. Boy. That's not the way you occupy. They Wall were Street. sabotaged. And they and they, they have, were screwed. And they didn't have enough people behind them. Didn't matter how many people were behind them. They got sabotaged and screwed. True. Okay. So don't be blaming them. Doesn't matter how. This many is what I'm explaining you. to you. If you want to do that sort of stuff and you want to get your militia and you want to fight and everything, you'll be sabotaged and screwed. That's how they do it. You're underestimating the power of huge masses. I'm underestimating you and anybody else to get a whole bunch of people together to do anything. But I just said they didn't have solid leadership, the Occupy movement. You don't need leadership for things that are correct. What do you need? A leader? Hey, you shouldn't do that. That's immoral. Now, how to mobilize hundreds of thousands. That's correct. In That's what a, I mean. in, in, in a, a, Against something that is evil. Right. It won't happen. It won't happen. Because the world is evil. God gave up on it. He killed all the people there with Noah once upon a time and decided that wasn't the answer. How could, how could the whole world be evil if uh, the progressives today, uh, like your Bernie Sanders, your Elizabeth Warrens, oh, have all good intentions? <laughs> All roads to evil have been paved with good intentions. Your death. Ralph Naders, your Jesse Venturas, they all have... They you keep all... making my argument for me and you don't recognize it. So you think, you think somebody's going to fucking Mr. wave Dub money under Bernie Sanders' Mr. nose? Mr. Debbie Dubiasi, what did he say? Everyone has a price for the million dollar man. Bingo! Everyone is evil. Just learn the price. Oh gosh. All right. Uh, as far all I have to say is, when you think of James P. Madonna, think of the soldier ant. The whole colony is unstoppable. We're gonna what, go. Are you to the queen? Huh? You the queen? No, I'm not the queen. What? What are you? What, what are you? What are you You're the queen. That's the way. That's the one in I'm charge the of the queen. I, you know, um, Rick Brown tried to buck old James P. Madonna for some strange reason. Oh, I think go. a lot of people are jealous of old James P. Madonna. Here we go. I think so. Yeah. Why is it me, 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 me? I'm talking about the general attitude of the progressives that are out there and the suffering poor. 
You think who's in charge of the soldier ants? That's what my question. They work had nothing to do with J.P. Madonna. No, they work in unison as a team. Who is their leader? The, I don't know how they communicate. The queen. She lays eggs. Re she has re a reproductive role. I don't know. She, she has control of the colony. I don't know how what controls beehives Me. and ants. I don't know how they communicate. Well, I asked the question, who's in control of the soldier ants? You know what? You're asking a silly question. No, I'm not. I, the because queen is. Because you're trying to uh, stump and me. And what does that have to do with J.P. Madonna? Because you're trying to stump me when I'm using logic. I'm making sense. The soldier ants do not move by logic. They move by instinct. I'm I'm I am okay. I'm talking about the power in masses. Like like the late Al Lewis used to say, the asses There's of the, the masses, masses out in the street. With porch. And the Occupy movement proved that wrong, didn't because it? Because there wasn't, they didn't have sufficient asses of the masses. There were only a certain amount in well, New York City. Well, she was then. Did they have? And they're all peace, love, and rock and roll. They're all they, college kids. Did they have enough people they're, over there in Egypt? They're like beating the square, huh? No. They didn't? Have enough? Yeah. How much did they have? Over a million. Did they have did they have automatic weapons? They weren't there to have automatic weapons. They got what they wanted. Well, they they threw out Mubarak. But guess what happened? What happened? The Muslim Brotherhood took over with the, the, another guy, and now they have a general in charge. Well, then how did the Muslim... So it didn't work, did then it? how did the Muslim Brotherhood take over? They, they voted did. for them. Then they screwed themselves. Yes, as the people do every time. Uh, just like the, the stupid uh, progressive, <laughs> the progressives are so intelligent that they have, they rationalize the excuse that, you know what, it's election day. Let's stay home and let's be apathetic and not vote at all. And you know what happens when you don't vote, the Republicans get in because the nuts show up to vote. So in this country, you had have, you have a tremendous amount of people who were suffering, who, who, knows, who knew the deal, that didn't vote. Anyway, we're gonna go to lunch and uh, we'll be joined by William H. Morrill III, our voiceover artist with his promo and words of wisdom. Um, and then we'll be back with the balance of the St. Valentine's Day a massacre on our wallets special show for this week. Let me tell you something. My grandfather was right when he used to tell people, you cut your nose off to spite your face, you are your own worst enemy. Hey, they cut your nose off in those uh, radical Muslim Islam countries. No, well that, you that's... Know, uh, radical Islam, they cut off the girl's nose. Uh, well, that's why I say, it's you, snowing. you gotta it's snowing. destroy the tomer. The goddamn passive liberals. It has nothing to do with passive liberals. Yeah. Why do you keep saying that? Hi, I'm William Moore. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living in the end times. So you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen. For the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.
Okay, we're back. We are back. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow the Third. As always, for your promo and words of wisdom. As you can see, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman is a high quality model car enthusiast. These are not plastic. These are not cheap uh, Tonka toys, whatever you want to call them. Uh, what was those, those other ones I used to collect as a kid? Not Hot Wheels. Um, anyway, these are metallic. They got weight to them. And uh, back here is a Ford Edsel uh, kept in the box. What year is that? 58. 58 Ford Edsel? And here we got uh, Chevy Bel Air and two Chevys actually. Bel Air, what's the other one? Bel Air. They're both Bel Airs. One's a convertible. One's a convertible, different color of course. 55. 50, are they both 55s? Yep. Okay. Let us now pray. After all, yeah, besides pray, after all, all of the turbulence sink our teeth into these reeds, finally. <laughs> For the first time since he took office, Governor Christie of New Jersey has been viewed unfavorably by a majority of New Jersey voters in a Rutgers Eagleton poll. The latest findings released today show the highest unfavorable rating to date in New Jersey surveys. 53% of registered voters in the state have an unfavorable view of Christie compared to 37% who have a favorable view. A drop in favorability of seven points since the last survey in December. Yeah, besides having a big problem with Christie, Chris Christie, I have a huge problem with the people of Kentucky for re-electing that ugly, nauseating, turtle-faced Mitch McConnell and, and uh, because of that, I have to look at his ugly, nauseating turtle face uh, for the next four years. Six years. Six? Six years. He's a senator. Senators are in for six years? That's correct. Motherfuckers. Thank you, Kentuckians. Uh. Christie's favorability spiked at 70%. After Superstorm Sandy in February 2013, we're strong in the storm. Yeah, sure. Stronger. Yeah, that's why the people that lost their homes are still waiting for the money, right? Yeah. And but the businesses got money. The governor saw his first negative ratings in three years last October. And they remained in December, but they didn't reach 50%. And were only a few points ahead of his positive numbers. And by the way, yes. I was not able to access the debate with Buono and Christie that you put up there. Every time I last put a night. freaking video, you always tell me that. What is going on with your Adobe Flash? I, I, everybody's watching it. I watched it. What is going? Are you? Do you update? I accessed others. But do you update your Adobe Flash? I get it all the time. Maybe it's um, it's a typical Facebook glitch. I'm always uh, uh, dealing with typical Facebook glitches. Voters surveyed by Rutgers cited different reasons for their view of Governor Christie, including his personality. The George Washington Bridge lane closing. And what is seen as his likely presidential bid. I'm glad you're doing a, a nice big 
Corpus Christi reading because I have one more uncomplimentary image of him to put on the uh, the front cover. But eh. as one respondent said, <laughs> Christie visiting different states for presidential race made New Jerseyans not like him. <laughs> That's it. Not liking him. Others use words like arrogance, rudeness, and abrasive to explain the turnaround from the high-flying post-Sandy day. Those are mild words compared to what he really is. People, people, toughen up. The poll questioned 813 residents including 694 registered voters from February 3rd to the 10th. The poll has a margin of error of plus or minus 4.2 percent. Rutgers Eagleton isn't the only survey to find a drop in Christie's favorability. A Monmouth University poll Released this month, found 47% of registered voters approve of the job Christie is doing. Assholes. These are the same assholes that re-elected the Republican Congress in America. Stupid jerks. While 46% disapprove. People don't know that they're, they're, they're so fucking imbecilic it isn't funny. The Rutgers poll found Christie's approval rating uh, on pensions. The public employee unions filed a lawsuit in Superior Court challenging the, the, uh, his decision to cut state funding. His approval rating on education dropped by seven points. His rating on taxes fell three points. Christie gets his best rating for his handling of Superstorm Sunday. For his handling of it? 55%? Then, then, and then, then why are so many individuals who lost their homes very unhappy? Because once the story is over with in the news, it ain't, you won't hear of it anymore. Oh, I don't. Let me tell you something. Okay. We have a local cable station called uh, News 12 New Jersey. They are the, the, more, the lamest, most pro-corporate, corporate ass-kissing, corporate, ass corporate suck-up and Republican Chris Christie suck-ups that I've ever seen in my life. They are despicable. They sugarcoat everything that Christie does gets accolades for everything, you know, they, uh, they just feel, uh, they're, they're always, they're always, uh, 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 approving what corporations do. I'm trying to think of what one, one idiot said the other day that really pissed me off. When I remember, I'll mention it. And his ratings on crime and drugs are 48%. Tennessee lawmaker wants to make the Bible the official state book. Who's, whose Bible? Their version? Well, of course. But even the best version, even the original King James version, is still religion, and you and, and and it has not been proven, and you cannot spend taxpayers' money on it, and and you cannot uh, dictate people's lives based on it. Well, in this particular case, again, they would put, they would want something to be the state uh, official book that they actually, if they thought about it and had some uh, research, would be against. Be what? Against! 
They are not in line with the Bible. Oh, no, no Republican conservative is in line with the Bible. Well, then, so putting it in as the state book, Means this would be against what they believe in. Yeah. But they don't know that. Because they haven't researched it. And they haven't really looked at it. Completely and totally illogical. Of course. They don't know the Bible. Captain. They don't, they, know, the, they don't know the Bible, but they call themselves real Christians, and they, they say they're much closer to God than us secular humanists. Baby killers. Progressive. You like to say baby killer all yes, the time. Yes, I do, because that's what they It think. is not a baby. A fertilized chicken egg is not a chicken, and a fertilized human egg is not a human baby. Well, that's what they think. I don't care what they think. I'm talking about proven fact. I'm talking about what is. Well, wait. What when is? When's the last time you saw a proven fact get past the House of Representatives or the Senate? <laughs> well, then. Uh, Perception, my boy. They need to. All right. Uh, you know what? Perception goes as truth. I will perceive that Today. this Blackthorn Shillelagh has the ability to fly. And, there you go. And hit people without me swinging it. There you go. It will levitate before my eyes because I perceive it to levitate. And you see how ridiculous that is? And of course the I U would call for experimentation. Of course the US media Detested. the US media never exposes any Republican or or CEO. To Representative Jerry Sexton. Republican. Yeah. Bean Station is sponsoring a legislation adding the Bible to the state symbols of Tennessee. Tennessee's state symbols already include the tomato as the state fruit. You know, that's where. Well, I think Mr. Sexton is the state fruit. <laughs> you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Basil Marceau is from Tennessee. Uh, well, the Marceau. If you, you, if you want to know who he is, just look up his videos on YouTube. They're, they're absolutely hilarious. You know, nobody on the uncensored, hard-hitting troop group really bothered to comment on Basil Marceau. I thought they were hilarious. Very sad that, that, that he was the man was serious when he was talking. Well, but hilarious, probably, and none of these progressives on the group, you know, they probably saw. Didn't look at him, huh? They probably didn't. Now what look are they at doing? Him. Just hanging out online? And what are they doing? This is why I always bash. What they're doing? I always bash online. progressives that are not proactive. You, if you're not a proactive progressive. I'm not, and I'm not interested in what you have to say or what you have to complain about. The tulip poplar is the state tree. The Tennessee cave salamander is the state amphibian. The state amphibian? A <laughs> uh, state amphibian? Uh, oh, God. And the square dance is the state dance. And there, are, and there are people who actually care about this? These things have been put through the Assembly and the Senate and voted on, yes. So they're they're taking up uh, uh, exactly. taxpayers' money. What was it, 56 or over 50 times the House of Representatives voted to uh, repeal Obamacare. Oh, but now you know what they're saying now? Oh no, we, we only voted for certain things. Okay, uh, so, House represent uh, Republican Congress. Uh, where do poor people go when they get sick in America? Uh, uh, what's your solution? We don't care. What's your solution? We don't care, but we're not going to tell you that but, up front. But okay, this is why I have I don't care about them, and I have no respect for them. Therefore, they're not entitled to be to be uh, spoken to in a diplomatic way. They're not entitled to uh, 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 to kind words. They're not entitled to bipartisanship. This is why I name call and I put them in and I label them. But because they're not entitled to this respect. But 
until somebody puts them out of their job, they still have more power than you. And even more f uh, infuriating, the, none of the Democrats or Bernie Sanders is getting FaceTime, and the U.S. media is not saying a discouraging word about any of them. This is more infuriating than the demons that are in Washington. It's all based upon the same guy. I don't like pussies with no spine. I like people with titanium spines. The state also has several state songs such as yeah. Tennessee Waltz mm. and Rocky Top. Well, that Rocky Top, Tennessee? Yeah. <laughs> That's a stupid name. Well, what about Bean Station, where he represents? Bean Station? Why don't Bean they, Station. Why don't they just call it K-O-R-N TV like on Hee Haw? Remember with the eight cartons in the back? Corn. Because Bean Station is probably what they did in the old days. It was a Bean Station. Does that have significance? Yeah, it was a Bean Station. What? That was the name of the town. The region that he represents. Bean Station. Just like we in Lodi. Lodi, New Jersey. Lodi, New Jersey. Uh, Lodi, California. Lodi, Italy. And you, there's a cocksacky New York, which is very suggestive. You know, who, are, who in their right mind would be, call anything cocksacky, unless you're referring to Republicans. Similar proposals to make the Bible the state book failed in Mississippi, 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 Mississippi earlier this month, and Louisiana last year. Supporters maintain that they weren't trying to force religion on anyone. No, not much. Of course not. Their religion they're trying to force on someone. But not the Bible's religion. Not the Bible. Which is different than theirs. Oh, it's much different than theirs. Yes. People... They don't recognize I it. I know you, you imbeciles would let this go through one ear and out the other, but there's there was never any trickle-down economics. That was all a lie from Ronald Reagan. What we have is siphon up to the top 20% or 1% or 20%. The devil's economic. Siphon up. There is no trickle down. There's no drip down. I used to think there was a drip down, but nah. Well, you know, even in even in thinking of a, a drip down, trickle down, etc., you are you are worshiping at the shrine of those on the top. Why would we want trickle down. Why not trickle up? You know, it's an all perception again. Well, who, who the fuck wants uh, everything to trickle up if you fat cats are getting corporate welfare every year? In the billions. The point I'm Why should to we make care it, about you, uh, how many point, more billions you're making if you're rich? It's a point of perception. We don't think of ourselves of the poor, the middle class. We don't think of ourselves as the top. We are the bottom. That's my point. No, it's I, all perception. I, I think of us as the trickle up mainstream. We make the money. We make the wealth. So therefore, where it goes, we determine it. Yeah, you're talking about from down below. You're talking about people who st who are stealing. What did I just say? Do you think the I give a rat's force, ass what your perception is? The labor you, force of the country makes the wealth. The uh, the people, the so-called little guy, just happens to be the mainstream majority. And uh, he makes the wealth. He makes of the, the wealth, and the people on the oligarch steals it. Whether they steal it or not. We think in terms of coming down to us from them through their greed and generosity. Well, uh, Trickle uh, down. Well, um, Papa John, uh, a douchebag, says that he's not obligated to share the, the prosperity of his company. Well, they're not obligated to pay their fresh air taxes either, are they? Again, it is deference that we show them. They're not obligated because they're not held accountable for anything. 
Bingo. Because they paid off Washington. Bingo. When you say perception, that's like, that's like um, somebody on trial f uh, as a serial killer saying, "Oh no, uh, 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 I'm not guilty. I, I just, uh, um, you're just uh, perceiving me to be proven guilty. I'm not really guilty." No. I, mean, I mean, it's it's ludicrous. Anybody could say, you know. That's not the. Oh, 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 oh! You're not really guilty of anything. It's all perception. The issue is perception. There is a perception out there which Mr. Uh, uh, what you call used to use. Uh, what the hell was his name? The uh, Speaker of the House back with Clinton. Tip O'Neill. Tip O'Neill. That's Reagan. The jerk with the white hair. That's a stupid idiot. The teacher. Ran for president last year, a couple of years, you know, he was part of the big, uh, whatchamacallit, I'll think of his name. The point Not is... Not John McCain. He... Guy with white hair. Yeah. Anyway, the point was, he always maintained... Well, you don't know who ...that... Name. It's in my head, but I'm not accessing it now, no, I'm because I'm focused on other things. All right, go ahead. Oh, my. Loves to yell at old James P. fucking Madonna. It is not. You know how many, pe you know how many people. You know how many it. people try to fuck with James P. Madonna and try to winky dink me. Mr. Haney used to say that on Green Acres. Stop personalizing. It has nothing to do with you. Uh, it has to do with the way things are. And if you come and start representing the way things are, then you will be get yelled at. But it's not personal. You have some right wing stuff in you. Yeah, I, I left don't, over from days of yours. Well, no, I, there's a good reason why I believe in being very tough on crime. There's See? a reason why I don't like affirmative action, and there's a reason why I just, I, frankly, I don't like to give special treatment to anybody. Except, except if you, if you're poor, I think you should get lots of help, and the rich should pay for it. But other than that. As far as pandering and uh, all that jazz, no. uh, I mean, um, yeah. But why should the rich pay for it? Because they're they're friggin' rich and they can afford to pay most of the taxes. Yeah, but why should they? Because they pay most of the taxes. I mean, because they make the most money. Because they I make know, the most money. But the only reason they do is because it is because we put it through government. Man. And made it that way. Why should why should the little well, why guy? Why should they? Why should the little guy pay pay most of the taxes? Why? Well, then why don't we go back to the days of the king and, and, and feudalism, and then they have all the money and can do what the hell well, they want? Well, it's almost there now. You know, I mean, it's almost there now. There's why? a why for certain things. Ronald Reagan is doing that, like tampered with all that crap thirty years ago. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're still talking about perception. We haven't moved on from that particular issue. You know why? You're not ri you're not rich. Okay, I know that. I'm not rich. You know that. Why are you giving them this ludicrous argument of perception is beyond me? Perception is not what is. But that's what is in politics. It's perception. <laughs> it's like it, we perceive. <laughs> I'm trying to think in this idiot's name, the goddamn son of a bitch, and Speaker of the House under Clinton. Forget about it. No, forget about it. I don't know. The point has to be made. He makes the point that the Democrats have ideas and the Republicans have ideas, and that's what politics is. And that's perception. We perceive. The Republicans have ideas. They do not. Where is their alternative to Obamacare? Where is it? There is no solutions coming from them. But we perceive there is. It's on the news every night. The stupid rednecks in the red states perceive they're, they, they have solutions. Not, not, not independent uh, 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 progressive thinkers. They, they, the boobs out there perceive who the is voting for them. 
the boobs out there. Because the because the normal people did not feel like voting this past November. It's not normal. We always don't we do not go over fifty percent in voting. No matter what. Well it was this well Except that, Obama, this was a special case. Well that's wrong. The people the people should understand the importance of voting. But they don't. And they don't understand the importance of showing up on the battlefield either. But they sure love to cry when they're suffering. Jeez. They sure love to bitch and moan and post their opinions on Facebook. Their party. way today of avoiding suffering is to align themselves with the people. I can't hear you, man. Align themselves. Clean out your ears. No. Raise your volume. You're you don't, to align themselves with what? You you go from the a high volume and then you be. whisper. The powers that be, they suck up. Yeah, they're, they're sick. That's how you get ahead. They're sycophants. You know what? Oh God! Whoever whoever chooses to be a sycophant to somebody with a lot of money or authority is a spineless pussy and should be smacked around and bitch slapped by real 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 macho men real citizens with a but their reward with a backbone is to be successful but then suck so that ain't gonna happen suck coke brothers cock and, there you go. and tongue their anus that's how you get ahead well you know what i have my dignity and i refuse to suck up then be poor because oh, that's well. how it works well, oh well it's like it's like in pro wrestling. You know how many you, you see how they all grovel to the McMahon family and the WWE. Because that, that those are the biggest people involved. That's where the money is. That's where the fame is. Right, and and they well, put, and they put up with a horrendous schedule of nonstop wrestling, and they have to pay for their own. Uh, I think uh, uh, hotel accommodations and transportation and blah blah and medical, and they put up with this crap, and, and they don't unionize. And they suck, they suck Vince's dick, and it just continues and continues and continues. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And continues. It's the same way Hollywood. Because nobody forces them. They do. It could happen in Hollywood. It can happen entertainment industry. These people, I have no respect for. The people who suck up sycophants. So but they want. become successful. I don't give a fuck what they become. They're not entitled to respect. Dollars and cents, the older generation. They're always Ladies they're talking about dollars and gentlemen. cents. You can have all the respect you want in the unemployment line. And guess what? It don't mean shit. Continue. The film adaptation of Fifty Shades of Grey, which opens in theaters on yesterday, has movie morality guardians armed and heading for battle. The Catholic Bishop of Buffalo, New York, has warned fellow prelates to step up preaching on the true beauty of sex within... Yeah, people are gone away until they're married before they have sex. Oh, that's so realistic. Remind faithful of the beauty of the church's teaching on the gift of sexual intimacy in marriage. You know, even even in marriage, even in, in, a, in a bona fide marriage, bona fide, bona fide men still, when they're with their wives, they think they probably always will. They think very pornographic, yeah. very dirty and sleazy, yeah. and low down. But the women think. Nice romantic thoughts, you know, candles, harps playing, you know, all that jazz, you know, all that Lifetime Channel crap. And it's always been that way. That's just how the genders are, you know. I mean, uh, uh, you so got, these these you, these, you these pussies got, that think that men are going to think like James, like a feminine. feminine you know way. what the uh, Fifty Shades of Grey movie is about? Uh, Before you get in too deep. Lesbianism? What? S&M. Oh, it's about S&M? Yeah. 
So the things that you were saying do not apply. Uh, that's what Brother Bishop, uh, that's what Mr. Bishop was against. Well, he's against that, you it know. It has to do with it, fetishism. Yeah. Okay, hey, dude, whatever floats your boat. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not anti that, as long as you're not killing people in your fetish. The great dignity of women and the moral reprehensibility of domestic violence and sexual exploitation. But my comment was still very applicable, even though it was related to the book. Right. Bishop Richard Malone wrote in a letter last week to fellow clergy at the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. His letter came with multiple links to resources some 15 to 20 years old, showing the church's consistent stand against domestic violence and pornography. Oh, so they, he's equating pornography with domestic violence. Which well, is like saying he's if you're equating S and M with domestic uh, violence. Just like people, right wingers, uh, say, well, if you smoke a joint, you smoke marijuana, you're gonna eventually get addicted to the hard stuff. That's also not true. The Catholic clergyman should be facing a juggernaut. Fandango reports box office pre-sale numbers are soaring, particularly in the Bible Belt and the Midwest. Yeah, the Bible Belt. They shouldn't even call themselves the Bible Belt. They should call it the Cultist Belt. Anyway. The Fifty Shades books by British writer E.L. James have sold more than one hundred million copies. But the movie trailer and a Super Bowl ad scrubbed of anything very sexual uh -huh. sent opposition to the film into high gear. Super Bowl ad. We have a what about all the hot chicks in, in bikinis that you see on during the Super Bowl game? Oh, no, no, this trailer was scrubbed oh. of anything highly sexual. It came off as benign. Right. Well? Well, a hot chick uh, 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 caressing a, a icy cold beer huh? during Super Bowl is sexual to me. Not if she puts that can of beer on your boat. They're not going to do that. Not, not during prime time. And you'll see a shrinkage uh, more than George's on the side. Though. George Costanza. It's shrink. It's, it was cold in the pool. It was cold in the pool. Shrinkage. <laughs> the trailer for Fifty Shades depicts a young journalist becoming a willing sex slave to a handsome, powerful man that she interviews. Yeah, movies uh, and TV shows are always about people that are rich and in positions of power. Jack what happened to the old days when you had shows about po folk like Good Times and Sanford and Son? You don't. Jacqueline Suzanne's novel. Jacqueline Suzanne likes money, and that's why they always include gold digger, uh, journeys around the world, rich people. Wealthy people, no, you know, yeah. no crumb bumps. Not here. Critics say it could make a tale of bondage and sadomasochism seem like playing fantasy sex leagues. Archbishop of Cincinnati, Dan Dennis M. Sch Sch Schnur. Yeah. Called the film a direct assault on Christian marriage and on the moral and spiritual strength of God's people. He urged his pastors oh, to me. sound the alarm against its destructive message yeah, yeah. and highlight the beauty. <laughs> of God's design for loving relationships. Ah. 
between a husband and a wife. Well, who, who, in the bond of marriage. In the bond. Who's to say that uh, the two people conducting S and M are not in love with each other and, <gasps> and monogamous? Because Maybe they are. How can that be? When it is domestic violence, so he considers a um, a, a vigorous spanking. Domestic violence? No, 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 no. When they do it, it's okay. No, they believe in spanking. Well, more than spanking. Hey, there's lots of skeletons in the closets of the right wing. Believe me, I'll be right back. Likewise, Southern Baptist pastor Dennis. J. Dennis, founder of the One Million Men Anti-Pornography Ministry, decried the marketing of the movie as leading to the normalization of pornography. They are all late to the shaming party. Morality and media, the anti-porn site, has been railing against Fifty Shades for months accusing it of glamorizing abuse of power, female inequality, coercion, and sexual violence. Uh, let me just inject uh, a thought. Uh, S&M is not domestic violence. No matter how you uh, paint it. Okay. Oh, a little change of pace here. Tomato pace? After the poop poop goes out the door. I have been married for 25 years. You're not doing it now. See, it's the end of the show. Frank and I have four children. Over the years, our relationship became rocky. Almost toxic. Frank. Is an alcoholic, verbally abusive, and a manipulator. Wow. I admit I'm no angel either. Eight months ago, I had an affair with a man I dated before I was married. Ugh. And we got caught. Yikes. Frank planted a tape recorder in my car. Oh, she's <laughs> Hacked my phone. Oi. Read my texts on his phone. He did this before she was caught or afterwards? He threw me out of the house. Ah. My belongings placed in black garbage bags. Okay. My boyfriend, meanwhile, has divorced his wife, moved here, and made a life and a future for us. He has sacrificed a lot for me, so I feel bad that I'm thinking about going back to Frank. I miss my home and family. Mm -hmm. Well, you shouldn't have cheated. Frank begs me to return every day. Oh, so he could torment her? He claims he has stopped drinking and changed his ways. He wants us to go to counseling and promises to be a better husband if I give him another chance. That's a good that's a good sign. He's willing to admit fault and, and, and fix the marriage. I'm scared. Oh, but a little piece of me wants to see if it is true. I have heard stories about how men can't change. Well, what an idiot. A life is full of risks. That it will be worse if I go home. You just said they can't change. Sometimes they... Before, remember? You had no compassion for these people. Oh, no, I'm talking, I'm talking about the hardened criminal yeah, elements. Yeah. Yes, the, I still stand by that. The hardened criminal element. Unless uh, a divine intervention makes them see the light. That it will be worse if I go home and I will be sort of in jail. <gasps> Have no freedom. Please help me. Help me. If a little piece of advice, if you want, if you wants to reunite with your husband, then level with your lover. 
Your marriage may or may not be able to be repaired. However, if you are willing to try, understand that it will take hard work on part of both you and Frank and the help of a marriage counselor. That's very true, a qualified marriage counselor, sure. If Frank can maintain his sobriety, you say you are worried you will lose your freedom if you go back. It's important that you recognize that trust takes a long time to be rebuilt. That the attempt at reconciliation is a gamble. Now getting married is a gamble. And whether your marriage can survive the mess the two of you have made of it isn't assured. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, drug addiction, alcoholism, people can... They, they can clean up their act? Of course they could. I'm, talk, I was talk, I'm talking about the real, the hardened criminal, the uh, uh, <coughs> the murderers, you know, the, uh, the the people who just keep on ending ending back in prison again, you know, the, <coughs> the punks, out, you know, that petty, th th you know, I mean, you know, uh, the, the kids in the ghetto and, you know, I mean, once, once your personality is set in the hardened criminal lifestyle, I don't see any rehabilitation in that, including pedophiles, serial killers, and, and the like. Thank you for joining us for Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth. This is uh, St. Valentine's Day, Massacre. Saturday. It's the St. Valentine's Day Massacre on our wallets. And eventually, with uh, when I do Uncensored Hard-Hitting Truth on location, uh, with whomever, maybe uh, Sash Boyle, I will talk about the dirty double standards between men and women, you know, how uh, women want to be equal when it comes to making money, but when it comes to dating and their social mm -hmm. life, they want to stiff men with the tab and make men pay for everything. Uh -huh. And that is a dirty, low-down double standard, to say the least. We'll see you next time. That's the least. Right. And remember, you don't need Valentine's Day to show your love and appreciation for the significant other. You can do it every day. Yeah, just beat her. <laughs> That's funny. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.